blink too much on him anyway. 3k lead from Liquid. They're surrounding top. Nisha's here. Maybe he feels like he doesn't need to be the playmaker because of how good Nisha's game is. They'll go straight for Flight. Get the quick kill first. See if they can dive in for Stabilite. Oh, the Rolling right. Thunder from Nisha. They should have a pretty good shot. He'll be able to step back to dodge the Rolling Thunder. But the stun from Mickey still connects. Sabalite also taken out. And the Reloking bottom immediately. Uh, quick moves. They're in the backup side to help take out Arteezy. It's a third death. Crit outnumbered. Liquid. They're going at full speed right now. 11 to 5, 4k lead. I hope so. <laughs> I don't oh, hope let's so. Let's just validate triple Midas. <laughs> Mikey. The Fairy Fire, it's a good deafening blast. That's got Crit coming in as well, but Nisha still able to take him out with the right, right clicks. Crit will find Insaner in return. He's got back up a flying stable light heading over to help out, but Crit's taken out as well. Double kill for Nisha. The Rolling Thunder's up, and Mickey, he's coming charging down the lane. Nisha's going to be able to set up onto Stable Light. By time for Mickey to close in onto the Doom. He's under the tier twos though, and Stable Light, he's got enough HP to be able to back Bottom. off and survive. Instant reload. The IO the I is 100 HP. He'll give his life for that. He absolutely <laughs> will. Radiant's bottom Sorry. tower is under attack. They've got the high ground, so the well, that liquid's charging towards them. We'll see who's going to get caught out here. Crip is up on the high ground, and the, they'll get the stun onto Stabilite. So liquid, they'll get the the two kills. Well, maybe not even Crit. Actually, yeah, okay, they'll still get Crit Nisha. He's in with the swashbuckle. They'll take out the two. I mean, look at this bottom lane. They're, they're going to go going on to Mickey. Boxy is hit. a lot of damage. Look at this. Right click's coming out. Not quite enough to kill him. Too much heals. But, uh, definitely enough to scare him a bit. At the same time, top lane. Sabalite. He's been able to get the setup here with the Doom. He's got bodies. Global silence is there. Sabalite's going to go for the TP out. And he's away. Great global. Yeah, long enough with, there with the duration of the global to make sure nothing could be casted to hold him in back. Oh, Whoop. A nice attempt there from RTZ. He does still have the BKB, so he can continue to hold his ground a little bit. And I couldn't quite get the timing uh, to go with the Requiem, but uh, a good intention there. <laughs> the high five at the end there. Oh! Nisha, oh. he found him! He did? All right, well, that... Not not the spot that he wanted to TP over to. Ooh, punish for green. That's feeling kind of strong. I mean, the four of them are heading out in this top lane. They're going to try and start a fight here. Crit, he's in with a hook shot. They've got the Requiem. The BKB. But the BKB is off from Mickey. As Mickey, he'll get Dune, but with the BKB already out, and the fact that he's pumping out damage, he'll try and stand his ground, and he'll succeed. They take down Arteezy. Sabalite tries to turn to stay on top of the Leshrac, see if he can do enough damage to take him out. But the Tether's there from Boxy. They're not going to be able to kill this Lesh. Mickey, more than fine, as Sabalite will also fall three dead on Shopify Rebellion. Push. They used literally almost, like, literally everything in that last fight. Let's see if Liquid can get another full set of racks. Shows down. Got Crit. The he's in with a hook shot, but Sai, he jumps in aggressively with the BKB. He's looking to try and get on top of Mikey. The ghost walks there, but Nisha, he's in with the Rolling Thunder as well. Mikey's gone. They'll get the, the Rolling Thunder on towards the Stabilite Doom on top of this, as well as Flight is three dead. As they Liquid, they'll take a, another set of racks without any further interruptions. <laughs> They've done it. <laughs> it is. Now they can, they can just keep pushing. There's no way the Chopper fight takes a single fight versus this. They're gonna have to buy back the Go for the outpost. Here comes Nisha. Whoop. Uh, what's the wrong thunder use? Table light is able to turn and get the doom down. Mikey, and they burst him. He's ready to lay down the combo. See if there's gonna be enough damage to burst through this Leshrac. They're throwing everything down onto Mickey and they're able to do it. Buy back. They take Mickey out, they turn over towards Boxy. Nisha comes in with a shield crash and the swashbuckle bring him up RTZ and Stable Eye low. RTZ will die. Nisha is still taking a lot of damage to commit for that kill though. But overall, it's liquid with buybacks cleaning up. Flies the last one left on Shopify Rebellion. He'll also fall a team wipe. GG. Absolutely top. dominating the mid lane and top. Indeed, Arteezy potentially in trouble. Insania, one more right click. He's got him. We'll see back over in the mid, Insania. Let's step up rather aggressively to try and lead into some sort of play, but Mikey's got the backup. Flying crit were around. Insania's got Ooh. the fairy fire. And that will save him. Oh. Even if that hit hit, it would have still yep. been fine. The one right click wouldn't have been enough. Insania's out. There was also fly hanging around the area. Crit. Out. I mean, yeah, Sableye would just turn, slam down the Doom. We'll see Zai teleporting over here with the portal. 
to try and provide some sort of backup, but already Stabilize just able to chase down this slug underneath the tower. Boxy providing some heals. Is it enough to allow him to live through the doom? It is. It is. He's going to be able to live, and now he's going to be able to turn. Mickey turns towards crit. They'll get the kill on the Willow, and Zion and Sania, they're able to come across with the portal and punish Stabilize. He stacks, too. This might catch easy. him off guard. Yeah, there's, he's going to have Zy right by him, and three heroes closing in from behind. Hello. He'll be able to get the ultimate off, but uh, we'll still not provide him enough HP to survive through this sort of gank. As Liquid successful with the smoke move. Never going to be an easy game for Arteezy, it feels like. Playing versus the Thunderlord in bottom, the Fiend's Gate. They're going to be quick to try and set up for something else there. Is Mikkei getting in aggressively, chasing down Stabilite here with the Shadow Dance. Gonna get that extra move speed bonus. The telekinesis, and that's the job done. Another core taken off the map. Liquid to perhaps get other kills. And the thing for Liquid is they can hunt with single heroes because these relocated. Yeah, I mean, look gate. at this as well. I mean, Stabilite, he, he'll jump into the portal. He says, well, wherever it takes me, it's probably going to be better than this. Unfortunately for him, though, uh, there's a real time. Ready and waiting. He's going to go back in the portal, <laughs> uh, but he won't get the chance to go back in as the telekinesis is there from Insania. He has got the backup of Arteezy at the side, but Nisha will find him. He tries to hide in the trees, but he gets caught by the stun. Meanwhile, on the other side of the map, Crypt did still get taken out as it's two kills here for Liquid. Max is the SD, which will you tend to, but I didn't think it was that high. Now, Saberlight can't even get the Doom off. Mikkei nicely build up those stacks. Does get caught by the Tornado. Saberlight able to stand his ground a little longer, but still end up so going down. Okay. Now, run towards him here. Crit offering up the damage, Ooh. but the tether's there from Boxy. He's able to come in, heal Mikkei up, and now Mikkei can turn and look to take more. Gets Crit out the fight, and Mikey, he's left behind as well. Three dead on Shopify. Liquid, they're not even done yet. They're ready to chase on for more. Looking Wait. for Fly. Fly's trying to juke his way through the trees. Mikkei? Really located Arteezy? over there. They're going to even look for Arteezy as well. He's turning. He, is a, he just gets handed a kill. All right, well, uh, that was a relocate that uh, Mikkei won't be too happy with. The whole map. Yeah, <laughs> He's got a bit of a little off there. As uh, I reckon, a high bit of a burst there. They're able to take down the, the Slark on his own. Desto stack for him. Pretty decent timing, all things considered. He can actually get some split push and stuff going, but it's not easy. Oh, here we go. They're going to try for Zai. See if they've got the damage to do so. He's got Insane and Mickey heading over to help out. And indeed, even with sort of the four of them going on to Zai, they just don't quite have enough to instantly take down the Underlord. Zai's able to walk away. We'll see Mikkei chased on for more. And he's got the Tornado. Nicely timed after the Dark Pack. So a good amount of time there that Mikkei's held back. But it is going to pop. Oh, he is. All right, he's dead again. Fly. Okay. What a play. I don't know if Mikkei will be smiling about that one. That's going to feel a bit rough. Two times back to back now. Now Crip with the fear. He's able to push back the two. And then Boxy's trying to desperately finish off one of these two. The portal's laid down. Crit is going to light up. Sign me up for this. He jumps in the portal. He's out of there. Crit's going to be able to use it to his own benefit. Get away. Mikey's still on the retreat. We'll see if they can chase him out. But the Tornado's back up. Tornado EMP. Mikey, he's going to be able to live. Game. Yeah, they've got the tools to really capitalize on this. They have the ways to actually take fights rather than just split push yep. constantly. Okay. Stolen Brambles. Coming into play. Another one. Fly. Defensive disruption. Mikkei. He's going to jump in. But the BKB's there for Sableye. So he can walk away from this. They do force the BKB. Though. And Nisha still wants to try and run in from the side. Nisha. Crip, he's holding about the Terrorize for now. And he's going to lay it down onto the Aya. Pushing back. The Doom gets dropped straight onto Nisha. RTZ trying to front line. Mikkei will turn for a couple of hits back on towards the Lone Druid. They're caught in the pit here off the of the Underlord, and Zai will be able to take down the bear. They're in. So if they can go for more here, and indeed with Nisha pumping out the damage before the Doom was even laid down onto him, he's just doing too much here for Shopify Rebellion to fight into RTZ, desperately trying to retreat, but Zai, he's in with the pit, locks down RTZ, double kill for Insania, Mikkei ready to dive up towards the base now. They're under the tier 3s, he's looking towards Stabilite, in with the Dark Pact, he goes, oh. Liquid Fine 4. Zai does get stacked up, but he's got a pipe. See what Sabrelight can find. Jumping in onto Zyber, the tethers there from Boxy. Sabrelight with the BKB trying to run them down, but they're just getting healed up. And the bear's disarmed, and the bear's getting focused. Nah, Liquid don't care about this move at all from Shopify. They're perfectly fine. They just know that the damage isn't there. Shopify, they cannot threaten any of Liquid's heroes. No doom. 30 seconds still. They can't touch him. Insania with the stolen EMP, throwing it back at them. And Liquid just, I mean, they're looking to close it, looking to get them out of the game. What does Shopify do? Do them in 20, but there's still not enough damage. They're going to try. They're in with the jump. They get the terrorized follow-up as well. 
Is there anything more? No, again. Nope. The answer's no. Such a hard game. Another EMP. He's got a catch on Arteezy. He's out of mana. He is, and Mickey. He's onto the bear. The bear's been taken out, jumps forward. Disruption. It's gonna buy some time for Arteezy, but he's already so low. He's gone. No buyback available on him. It's over. There's nothing they can do. They'll even get the grab on Stable Light and D there. They'll tap out. They've had enough. Shot for Fire at Bellion. They'll drop this game. They'll drop this series. Team Liquid on fire today. All smiles here from Nisha. And yeah, as you said, it just woke up and was ready to play today. This was the early series of the day for Liquid, as we've heard from. They're normally, you know, they're, they're late risers. They, they get up kind of in the early afternoon, typically. Uh, but waking up for this game today and playing uh, to their best ability, without a doubt. Both of these games looking pretty impossible. For